What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today we are starting off a new series that I'm going to be calling Rocket School. It is a series where I will essentially go through teaching our newer players or anyone in any rank how to do certain mechanics, how to do different play styles, and all that other stuff. Now, I do have a disclaimer. Obviously, me only being in diamonds, I fluctuate all around diamonds, so... Obviously not everything I say is going to be the best, this is just from my experience of playing the game and what got me to die. So, I really hope that you all enjoy this series. Um, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think, what do you want to see? Today we're just going to be going over some important mechanics, mechanics <laughs> um, such as fast aeroling. Fast aeroling is very important to get to the ball as quick as you can and beat your opponents to a challenge. They can be the difference between a goal and a miss save. <laughs> so we'll just get right into it and we'll cut right to the training. Alright, so here we are at the training, just free play. This is where you're going to be practicing it a lot. There are also many maps that you can use for fast aerialing and such. I will show you a map that I personally used when I was first starting to learn how to fast aerial and the browse features. So a fast aerial it helps with ball cam on to see the side view here. You're boosting while going up into the air obviously with tilting your car up at the same time as well without flipping. And that's gonna look like that's gonna look like that. And what people have issues with is they hold their joystick down, causing them to flip in some weird fashion, either like a reverse side flip or a back flip. What you want to do is jump, put it up, then boost. So, jump, tilt it up slightly, and then you'll press your second jump. I'm going to just start practicing with that. So jump, tilt, jump. And once you got that, that down, the, you can start adding in the boost as well. So jump, tilt, jump. And you'll just keep practicing that over and over and over until you can do it quickly such as that without back flipping or side flipping or any of that weird stuff. <laughs> you just keep doing it over and over. Once you get the boost, learn how to do it with the boost with control as well. You'll just practice that. And then you want to see how far, you want to start testing your boundaries, how far back can you go for starting out without flipping. So, such as this, I can go pretty much as far as I want to. I can go like that vertically completely. And you just practice that over and over. So that's just one of the really important mechanics you're going to want to know to be able to, that's going to help a lot with challenges and all that. Special aerial challenges, maybe not in the lower leagues. But it will definitely help you when you are approaching the higher leagues. Or like, I know some people in high plat tend to do it as well, so that's going to be when you want to have it down for the most part. And you'll already be a step ahead of most people. You'll just need to work on your game sense and stuff like that, and that can be achieved just by doing the ones. Now if you go over here into the training and the custom, we go to browse. If we scroll down, we can. there's several different ones. You don't want to do them off walls. They're kind of weird off walls. We could just do a basic aerials right here and just practice. Obviously, I can't score that because, well, but I wouldn't even focus on scoring right at this point. I, 
I would just focus on getting to the ball as quick as possible. Once you can get to the ball as quick as possible, you can then focus on scoring. And that's going to be the first mechanic we'll be going over for today. Let's hop back over to free play. Another mechanic that's very important. When you boost for kickoffs, you don't want to do that. When you do that and you're boosting at the same time, the boost, while you're in this position, is actually pushing you backwards. You want to put your joystick up and to the left. And so on a kickoff like this, you'll go forward, turn oh so slightly, Oh, well that was a bad example. <laughs> but, okay, so this is a bit better. Um, you go forward, turn. And you don't want a fully side flip like what I just did. You want to do a diagonal flip such as that while boosting. And this will help you beat kickoff so much quicker than most people in the lower leagues and stuff. So if you can get this down at a low league, you'll be yet another step ahead. You can just go and free play and practice that as much as you want. And that's pretty straightforward. On straight kickoffs, it is a bit awkward. And that's. There's another mechanic that's something you can just practice here in free play and. I think those will be just the two mechanics we go over today. Um, just a tip for the people that are having troubles keeping up a fast pace. What I recommend for that is to come in free play, try to keep your ball and the car supersonic as much as possible. So just quite literally ball chase. Try to keep to where that ball has that white streak behind it. Just chase it for hours on end. Get power hits on it. You can do aerials, flicks. You can slow down for a second like I said and you can just flick it. And so on. Um, just ball chasing and free play, that'll really help get your player speed up. That'll help you with reading the ball faster, getting power shots such as that. Sure, that didn't go in, but that definitely would have made an opponent pan, for sure. Now, once again, as I said at the beginning of this video, these are not the best methods of going about this. And if you choose to do these methods, that's your choice. This is just coming from me, this is how I got to Diamond, and this is how I kind of stick to Diamond. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's video, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Once again, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more of these. I'm going to be putting out about 5 of them and seeing how the series does. And from there, based on the comments and how you guys' responses to it, we'll either continue this or just end it. Of course, I'll keep those pre-existing ones up, but yeah. So, don't forget to like, sub, hit that bell icon, make sure you're notified every time I upload a start a stream. If, you're in, if you like watching me play that much, or learning new tips, reviews on equipment and stuff like that. Mm. See y'all tomorrow. I uh, will be streaming later in the day, probably around starting at around 6 to 8. Once again, hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace out.